Last year, Espresso sent me their portable 15 inch display for a week. I liked it so much that I bought two of them. This year, Espresso have sent me their version two display to keep this time. Thank you to Espresso. Don't tell them, but I would have bought one and reviewed it anyway, because I'm really excited about this product. On a daily basis on my desk, I use the Surface Studio, a 28 inch Surface with a 5K display. But when I'm running training over Teams, that's far too many pixels to share. So I would use my Espresso display alongside of my Surface Studio with its lower 1080p resolution to share my screen. With my old ASUS portable monitor, I constantly touched the screen and put fingerprints on it for no reason because it wasn't a touchscreen. The Espresso filled that void, a portable, lightweight, extremely thin touchscreen display that ran on USB-C and had touch input. When the new version 2 Espresso display turned up on my desk, I immediately noticed that the package included a pen in a separate box. So I took it all out of the box and I plugged it in as quickly as I could and I grabbed my Surface Pen to see if it would work on the V2 Espresso display. I didn't expect it to work, but I was blown away when I realized that the new Espresso V2 actually uses the Microsoft Pen protocol that we associate with devices like the Surface Pro, Surface Laptop Studio, Surface Duo 2, and even the regular Surface Laptop. For reference, the Microsoft Pen protocol started life as a company called Entrig from Israel. In around 2015, Microsoft bought Entrig, which by that stage was the standard pen technology used on the Surface Pro 3. Entrig pioneered new touchscreen and pen technologies that were licensed to many manufacturers, including Microsoft. And fortunately, Microsoft continued that tradition. Even though they have their own Surface devices, they still license the Microsoft Pen Protocol. So MPP is used by companies like Lenovo, HP, Acer, and more. And you can now find it on the Espresso 13 and 15 inch displays. This is really cool news because my Surface Pen now works on this portable display and that opens up some incredible possibilities for working across all sorts of devices. My Surface Pro 8, Pro X, Studio, well they all had pen support already. And it's nice that I can now have a second screen that supports the same pen input. But what if we had a high-end desktop gaming computer or a video editing rig? Well with this screen that device can gain the same capabilities as a Surface Pro all through a single USB-C cable. So you might have a workstation laptop that doesn't have a touchscreen or pen input. It can now effectively work just like a Surface Pro with this external screen. You can take notes on it. You can design 3D objects with Shaper 3D using the pen. Way cooler and more natural than using a mouse. You could sketch in the Brilliant Concepts app. You could even use this with Photoshop or Lightroom. Have a proper whiteboarding session, sign a PDF, mark up a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. The possibilities are endless. I even plugged in my Surface Duo 2 to see how that might work. It didn't work immediately, and I'll explain why in a minute. But with a quick fix, this monitor became an extension of my Surface Duo 2 that even supports pen input. So I could actually write notes in OneNote on this 15 inch external screen directly connected to my Surface Duo 2. How cool is that? I mean, with this setup, I could run a one-to-one -one PowerPoint presentation with ink directly from my phone. And the interesting thing is that this Espresso display, I mean, you can see by looking at it that it was designed for Apple products. And anybody who's watched this channel knows that I don't think much of Apple Macs type, I mean laptops, because they don't have touch and pen input. And I think that in 2022, that's like getting around on a horse and cart. That is until now, because grabbing one of these espresso displays for your Mac would suddenly open up the possibilities of touch and pen input. Now, of course, Apple haven't really developed touch or pen input for Mac OS, but Espresso have put a fair bit of effort into developing software that enables touch and pen gestures on the display in Mac OS. So if you have a MacBook, now you could add an electric engine to your horse and cart with the Espresso Display V2. On the Windows side, of course, touch and pen input is all supported, baked into the operating system. So all you'd need to do is simply plug in the display to any device running Windows 10 or Windows 11 and start working away. Espresso do have some software for Windows. However, at this stage, it doesn't really add much in terms of functionality. You can adjust the screen brightness and the sound level for the display using the software but there's not much else on offer just yet. Now, speaking about volume, there are speakers in built in the display. To be honest, I'm not sure why they're there. They're not the greatest when compared to the speakers on my Surface Pro 8, for example. So personally, I'd never use these. The display has a 1920 by 1080 resolution, also known as 1080p or full HD, and it runs at 60 Hertz. The standard color setup has been tweaked nicely to give it a slightly more blue tinge. The display supports at least 10 simultaneous points of touch. And it even supports tilt with the espresso pen, as well as any one of the more recent Surface pens from 2017 on. It doesn't appear to support haptic feedback with the Surface Slim Pen 2, but the Slim Pen 2 does work quite well on the screen. 
On the right hand side of the device, the ports have been greatly simplified. On the previous generation, there was a mini HDMI port, which is an uncommon cable, and I think that was a little bit problematic. On this version, Espresso have dispensed with that mini HDMI port and just given us two USB-C ports. You can plug your device into either one of those two USB-C ports. For my Surface Pro or Surface Studio, I could put enough power through that single USB-C connection to power the display and show a picture. It couldn't be simpler, just one cable, comes in the box and I'm up and running. On the other hand, with my Surface Duo 2 phone, the USB-C power output wasn't sufficient to run the monitor. So I had to power the monitor up with a second USB-C power cable. I happened to have a Surface Pro charger on my desk, so I plugged in a USB-C to USB-A cable, and I plugged that into the USB port on the Surface Pro's charging brick, and then I plugged it into the monitor and it immediately powered up. So judging by that, the Espresso display doesn't need much power to run, but the output from my phone wasn't sufficient. A battery pack or a simple USB charger into that second port and that'll get you up and running. Now, if you do have an older device that doesn't have USB-C on board, or perhaps you have a HDMI cable that you need to use to get output from your computer, Espresso do sell an adapter cable that converts USB-C into HDMI or mini display port. It also has a USB connector so that you can use both the display and the touch and pen inputs on your older PC. Now, one of the reasons that I really loved the Espresso display in the last generation is that they'd really invested in accessories. It's not enough just to make a portable monitor. You need to think about the way it's used and how it fits into people's workflow. And I think that's where Espresso have done a really great job. With the new generation, they've refined their accessories nicely. For example, the new Espresso case is much simpler. It covers a single side of the display, so it acts like a cover for the glass when you're transporting it in your bag. It magnetically attaches to the top, and when you fold it around to the back, kind of like a Surface Pro keyboard, the cover folds in half to turn into a very Surface Pro-like kickstand. The old cover kind of did the same, but it had two sides, and it was just a bit heavier, so it just didn't sit as stable on the desk as the new version does. They've also revised what they call the Espresso Stand. The design concept is the same. However, the hinge mechanisms appear to be beefed up to make it even more stable. Once you figure out how it fits together, the magnets hold it in place nicely and firmly, it's very easy to set up. And they still have the magnetic visa mount option for a semi-permanent display setup. What I really like about the visa mount option is that you could have this monitor set up at a point of sale stand in a public place. And at the end of the day, you could very quickly unplug that USB-C cable, remove the monitor and store it away in a locked cabinet. So I can see huge potential for this display in retail or a point of sale situation. Personally, I use that mount so that I can use the Espresso display as an external monitor for my camera or Teams meeting in certain situations too. The Espresso pen for the display is a great example of a Microsoft Pen Protocol pen. It has a very Apple Pencil-like hard plastic tip, but I didn't find it overly noisy. It magnetically attaches to the top of the display. There's a right-click button on the side, just like a Surface pen, and an eraser on the back. There's a USB-C port at the top of the pen that allows you to recharge it. And so yes, this pen is a new alternative to any of the other Surface pens. It works on any Surface devices that support the recent Surface pens from Surface Pro 3 on, and I think with its recharging capabilities, it's an interesting alternative to the Renaser pens that we reviewed on this channel previously. If we take anything out of the last two years, it's that for many of us, the place we work has changed forever. Sure, a lot of us are getting back into the office, but many, many companies are embracing a hybrid model of working that sees us continuing to work from our kitchen table, our bedroom, study, cafe, or hotel room. And a display like this Espresso V2 enables you to work productively from any of those locations. Even better than that, it can go with you on the journey too. We'll leave some Amazon affiliate links in the description below if you wanna buy an Espresso display. And if you're local to us here in Australia and you wanna buy some of these for your organization, then make sure that you contact us using the link below and we'll hook you up with some great pricing.